Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to compile and build the, the project. Um, going back to my little list, um, what we did before was we copied the project template. Now we're going to um, build and compile the project, and we're going to see that compilation happening in Sierra chart. So um, the first thing that we need to notice is that there are a bunch of red marks here. That's kind of telling us that there are issues with this project. So I'm going to first start by cleaning all that up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this windows.h. We don't need that um, in here. It's going to confuse us. And this one is a remark, so I'm going to leave delete that as well. What I need to do is have this include point to this file here. It's kind of telling the source file that um, where the Sierra chart API and all the definitions for writing code with Sierra chart resides. So I installed Sierra chart, as you recalled, under D demo. Okay, so if I'm looking here, I see D demo, and then I go into Sierra chart directory, there's going to be a directory called ACS source. I'll drop into here. And under here, there's a file called Sierra chart um, dot H. Okay, this is the file that this code is looking for. So all I really need to do here is first of all just change the path. Okay, so I'm changing the path to D demo Sierra chart ACS source. And voila, I can see that all the red marks have disappeared. Okay, so that's the first thing I need to do. Now the th second thing I need to do is I need to change the, the location to which Visual Studio um, compiles the, the the DLL. The end result of build taking this source file and running what we call a build, okay, if I would do build solution, is to create a DLL file in the end. That's that's what we're looking for. Um, if, if I look under the Sierra chart installation directory, okay, and in my case it's going to be Sierra chart data, within this data directory you'll see that there are a few DLLs. Okay, I have my user contributed studies DLL, um, WOPR.dll. These correspond to, if I open up Sierra chart, I go under studies, and I go at custom study, I will have these two, user contributed studies and WOPR. Um, as you can see, if I highlight this one, I see that it's under D demo Sierra chart data. Similar to these two, ours need to be also on this list and in order for them to get onto this list they need to be under D demo Sierra chart um, data okay now for some installations this might be a bit different okay your data directory might be in a different location you can also uh, move it if you want to um, to find out where yours is you go under um, general settings pop that up and right here you have your data files folder Okay, and you can see that mine is under D demo Sierra chart data. I can also change it to a different location, but you need to have Visual Studio compiled to whatever Sierra chart is um, has this set for right here. Okay, so if I went into Visual Studio right now, okay, and I compiled it, then I would see that I get a bunch of errors and 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 that we need to change the location. I'm going to do that right now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change here from release to um, debug. Okay, so we're going to be building a debug version of of the DLL, and I'm going to come up here and click build, build solution. And as you can see, I'm getting a warning here that that the build did succeed. Okay, I have like one build succeeded, but I have here a warning telling me that the target path D demo, um, sorry about that, the target path D demo does not correspond to something else. It's a long error. It won't mean nothing to most of the people watching this video, so I'm not going to go into it. The only thing I'm going to talk about is how to fix it. Um, let me move this window here. Um, by the way, if you don't see the 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 exact window that I'm seeing, or Visual Studio doesn't look really the same as it does on my screen. A few things that you might want to note. One is that this output window, or this little pane down here, I use that a lot to get you know results from the, the build and for a bunch of other stuff just to keep track of what errors and warnings we have. 
and that can be accessed through here okay through the the output window right through there the other thing to note is that you should go in under tools under settings and change from basic settings to expert settings okay so if I just click this back to basic you will see that um, my menu bar is going to look a little bit different than it would when I changed I don't have for instance the build menu so if I come down to tools settings and change it back to expert um, I'm going to have different settings and look just a little bit different so in order to follow this you should be under tools and we're going to need that the expert settings anyways in the, in the next few videos okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that I'm here on debug this is my debug configuration and um, I'm going to go and fix the the settings so I go under properties I right clicked on the project and went under properties and sorry that I clicked the solution so I'm going to cancel that select the project properties okay and I get this window okay so SC studies property pages and under here we're going to make we're going to make a couple of changes just two changes nothing beyond that the first change is um, I'm going to open up the C++ level on the menu under general um, sorry the linker and under general I'm gonna look under here and I'm gonna change this to reflect where my installation and my data directory reside which is under D demo Sierra chart data as you recall right D demo Sierra chart data and this is telling that the output file needs to be by the project name whatever we call the project dot DLL and it's going to be under D demo I'm going to copy D demo data just like so including the slash and under configuration properties general where it says output directory solution dear configuration I'm going to change that to D demo Sierra chart data okay and that is going to give me finalizing those settings I'm going to come down here and build and now I can see that the project built himself with no warnings it's a very clean build um, I finally have a successful build here if I go into the data directory I can see now that I have a new file called sc-studies.dll um, it's under data demo Sierra chart data and the name of it is sc-studies.dll um, to see that this is actually working I'll delete this okay no more come back up here go into build build solution come down and I can see that it was created so it's creating the the DLL successfully it's creating it in the right location if I go up to Sierra chart open the analysis add custom studies okay I can see that I have a new one in the list this is mine my custom studies file name you can see that it's D demo Sierra chart data SC studies DLL and um, if I open this up I will see that I have a new study with insert description here placed which pretty much means that the study has been created and the DLL has been created and Sierra chart can successfully load it and show it within the the add study dialog 